Yo, what's going on, guys? Nastra here, back with another episode of Peewee the Pro with Rostislav Nastra. In episode number one, we took the biggest OTL of our lives, but we bounced back bigger and better than ever with two back to back wins. Not only that, we were reunited with a childhood friend and an absolute legend, Drew Doughty, who has joined the squad and is helping carry us to victory. Of course, if you missed the first two episodes, make sure you go and check them out. We are using the Slapshot Wii Remote, which is making things extremely difficult. We also have upped the difficulty to Superstar, so it is going to be a challenge the rest of the way. We only have a few games left in the regular season, but I was reading through your guys' comments, and people are saying you have to finish in first place to make the playoffs. As you can see, right now we are sitting tied for third and fourth. The Lions and the Bandits both have a one-point lead on us, but they may have also played an additional game, so we'll have to wait and see. As you can see, there is a line under that number one spot, so I am assuming only the top seed is going to move on to the playoffs where we then take on the Eastern Conference champion. But that remains to be seen. We have a few regular season games left. Let's focus up here, get two dubs, and make sure we get to the plots. In terms of our stats, Rostislav Nashrov is an absolute tank. Three games played, six goals, 11 assists, and 17 total points. Even then, we are still not in the number one spot. Moving on to game number four, taking on the Bandits, which are above us in the standings. This is a big one. Wish us luck. Another beautiful day on the neighborhood ODR as Rostislav Nashrov grabs his stick from the snow pile. And Rusty almost took a giant spill as he entered the ice, but he does stay on his feet. Okay, we got Coach dropping the puck and a huge win from Rusty to get things started. Now, unfortunately, looking at our lineup, it looks like... What a save from Jonathan Quick. It looks like Drew Doughty is not in the lineup today. We have Mankari and we have Sumo. But we're calling him Sumo regardless. That's his nickname. Here comes Rusty. Top left. Get in. Boom. What is that? Boom. What are these hits? If he would have walked through both of those bodies and somehow just got up and scored, I would have been absolutely shook as Rusty bounces it off their head. Here comes a 2 on 0 oh. All right, we got Michael Delzato, Blue Jackets legend. We have Marion Gabrick, Blue Jackets legend. And we are going for a little skate. Here's Mankari to Rusty. Bop! Get in. Okay, we are playing King Lundquist. So we know that this is going to be a difficult one. Also, Rusty is not able to body anyone right now. Yep, we're going to find a back door. Oh! Walk in. Boys, I just want to mention right now, this is literally the most fun I have had playing an NHL video game. How do we miss the net there? I perfectly cut left to right. I don't know if you guys saw. I even added a little bop bop. I held B, was doing a little stick handling, making sure that we were good. And I missed the net wide. Despite us adding the accuracy boost to our player, we still can't hit the net. Like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. I don't think I've ever had this much fun playing an NHL video game. Like every time I hop on to record this game, I'm fired up. Here we go. A 2 on 0. Dang! Look, this is insane! And I still can't buy. I haven't hit somebody all day. Oh my, dude, this is an absolute battle of the ages between Quick and King Lundquist. And here comes Hardigan. Hardigan misses the net wide. Settle down here. Yep. Boom! There is our first big hit of the day. Boom! There is another Rusty. If we would have scored that, that would have been goal of the year. Still a 0-0 game in a season-defining moment. We know how important this game is. We have to finish number one in the Western Conference if we want the chance to advance. Rusty trying to find that left side. Nothing there. Their defense is lacking, but for some reason, it's working literally perfectly. Back door! And time is going to expire again. When you see that minute on the clock, you have like five seconds left. A tough second period. We are still tied at zero. We are absolutely destroying them, but cannot get a goal. We are scoring. Dude, will, will Coach just drop the puck, dude? I'm still... I'm still absolutely shook. Here comes. We're oh my gosh, we're watching the back door. I just got absolutely bodied, but they're going to go ahead and go up. Stepping up. Dodges one hit. We're going to try a little spinner. Rusty, successful spin move. The first one ever to Sumo, to Rusty. Back to me. And we have missed the net yet again. Yep, two on one, three on one, three on one. Sumo, to me. How do we not find that top right corner? 
and they're gonna get a two on one a two on one the other way are you mad dude we have had literally 30 shots on net this game and none of them have even come close to beating lundquist it is a 1-0 game i broke my entire setup hold on let me just fix my uh wee bar here let's put this on top again okay and we are back in the action. All right, no more messing around here, boys. We're figuring out the cheese, okay? There's got to be a way to score on these goalies. What a little saucy. We're going to walk in, try to find this top left. There's just no lanes. Three minutes on the clock. We do have to remember we get a slow minute in the third period. That's the good news. But we are still getting rocked in the process. This is literally the biggest game of the season. A season-defining game. 55 seconds. Sumo! Sumo! with a banger and the bottle comes down as well we are tied at one rusty with a huge win okay it's time to focus up oh time to focus up here boys again these are the bandits this is the number two team in the league we are currently number three we win this game we drop them down we have a good shot at making the plot boom joey with the rebound banger, what a fire rip from Rostislav Nastrov. And Joey is there to pick up the trash. We were down one. It seemed like all hope was lost. Oh no, oh no. What a save from Johnny Quick. We're gonna try to walk in top left. One more, bang. All we have to do is shoot for rebounds. Okay, we know Lundqvist is good. We could not beat him on the glove or blocker side, but we can beat him with the greasy rebounds. Another big goal from Mankari, another big shot from Rostislav, and it looks like the LA Chargers are going to drop the Bandits down. The final score, three to one, as the Bandits take their first loss of the season after a heartbreaker. Up 1-0 in the second period, they choke it away, and the LA Chargers with Rostislav Nashrov get the job done. Milestone feedback, player growth. You wrapped up another game and earned some experience. Of course, we do get XP after every game. I did learn in the last episode that we do get offensive, defensive, and athletic XP. And at some point later on in this game, we'll have the full list of attributes. But for Pee Wee, we just have three simple categories. We will toss these up. And we have now moved up to a 78 overall. With that win, the LA Chargers have taken the number one spot. Now, I don't know what the tiebreaker is. There's three of us tied at number one, but we have secured number one for some reason. Maybe it's goal differential. Maybe it's total goals four. We got to make sure to run up the score regardless just to secure it. Three games remaining in the regular season. Rostislav Nashrov and the boys are buzzing. And we now take on the Sabertooth in what could be a decisive game to secure that number one spot. Let's get it. Here we go. Last game was a little night game. Now we get a little sunrise game. We do have a local scout here as well. I scout for a local Bantam team. Impress me and we'll see about bringing you up next season. Okay. So we may make this jump up to the Bantams very, very quickly, depending on how we perform in these next couple games. We have Mankari on the ice. Who is our second guy? Boom, what a hit. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, here comes Rusty. We're gonna find that guy back door. I, don't, I still don't know who it is. Sherov, who is this guy? We have a, a wild card making an appearance. I thought we were gonna have Drew Doughty back in the lineup, but it looks like Coach is not happy with his visits to the art museum. Here he comes, Rusty. Bop! Backstrom in net, not able to bury it. What was that, Johnny? That's the weakest shot I've seen in this game. He curls across, rips it off his head, bounces over his head, and flops right into the net. A tragic start for the LA Chargers and Jonathan Quick, but you know what? We persevere! What was that? Tic-tac-toe from the boys. Yo, Joey and Cherov. Looks like they've been playing together for years. What a finish. I think I literally did nothing on that. Oh, no. Oh, oh gosh. What a save from Jonathan Quick. Dude, the thing that I'm realizing in this game, off the bar and out, the thing that I'm realizing is there doesn't seem to be like a clear-cut glitch goal, like a goal that we can score every single time. I thought we could do this and then curl across 
and shoot top left corner. That's not working. I'm trying blocker side. That doesn't seem to be working. Even cross creases are relatively inconsistent. Oh my gosh, Rusty. Little stick handling. I'm not going to lie. I did not mean to pass that in the slightest. And that's going to do it for period number one. We started down quick early. We bounced back very quickly. And we are now tied at one. We have to learn how to score goals. I'm absolutely loving how fast paced this game is. It just seems... It seems to just fly by, but it's always intense. And it is always close. Even when it feels like we're dominating. You know at any point, the tides can turn. Here comes Sherov. Sherov! Ah, I was looking for him to drop me that before, but that, that works too. Yep. Sherov, up to me. We're going to have a breakaway. I'm going to try to feed this cross though. Where is Joey going? The, oh my gosh, I'm gone again. Here we go. Quick little spinner. Little bop, little drop pass to Mankari. Right to Sheriff. Sheriff did not bear it. We're going to sit back door. Mankari, get up. Oh, this is going to be a goal. Holy dude. We got to give it up to Jonathan Quick, man. This guy has been stepping up an insane amount. And now we have Jonathan Quick making breakaway passes to Mankari. No. Boom. Go ahead and sit down, baby. Here's Rusty back in his prime. Curl it in. Clapping it low and shooting it right into back. Rusty! Oh! Rusty and Moore are getting into it. Dude, it looked like he was a second away from dropping the gloves there. We have not seen a fight in the Pee-wee level. I don't, I don't know if there is going to be fighting in, in this game at all, but still, we are looking for our first career fight. Here's Rusty as time expires, and we are still in a close one. A battle through and through. This is a much-needed victory. With the standings as close as they are, let's see what happens in period number three. No more messing around. All right, we're getting a little bit too excited out here. I'm having too much fun. I keep saying that. Once we start once we start turning on the Jets, that's when things get a little bit scary out here. Here comes more with a... It's going to say, hey, that one's not on Johnny Quick. He made the initial save. I mean, they literally had a 3 on 0 and our defender stopped in place. To prevent that stop i mean that i'm gonna be honest that defender might have been me i'm not 100 percent sure what happened there but that's okay because we are gonna bounce back quicker than ever we have been in this spot many times and we always find a way to get the job done wesley not able to bury it here comes rusty rusty put on the wheels baby okay 11 minutes boys 11 minutes we're gonna try to find the back door here instantly there's mikari mikari boom let's go rusty with his first goal of the day a beautiful feed from mankari and a much needed goal. We are now tied at two with just under 10 minutes remaining. Okay, we almost managed to shoot that right into the Tendi's chest. But the good news is the puck went in. Now you gotta think, as this series goes on, as we make our way up to Bantams, CHL, NHL, wherever it may be, it is going to be harder to score those goals. Like the mistakes that we're making now, we cannot make at the higher levels. Okay, three minutes on the clock. And a no-look spinner, but here's a breakaway. Dude, I tried to pass that three. Make hurry! What a save from Backstrom. Can Rusty be the hero yet again? Another big save from Johnny. And Len Moore with the greasiest of all greasiest goals somehow is able to flip that one up we are down one 45 seconds on the clock okay we've been in this situation before we know what we have to do here comes rostislav nashrov finding the back door share him. huge save 30 seconds boys 30 seconds crazier things have happened here rusty booming hit on more we gotta take more out of the play boom not able to do it boom not able to do it three hits and we don't even touch him share up boom here we go mccurry it's me no. oh, mccurry get up get up get up get up hey guys, try to find him back door not able to do it eight seconds on the clock will we get one more opportunity back gets bodied four seconds i'm cherry picking three two shot and that is going to do it after a beautiful first game Done to perfection. We have taken another huge loss. A loss in regulation as well, which means we don't even get that extra point. This is going to be a tough one to bounce back. I feel like at the end of the day, this is going to come down to the final game. We probably have to win both of the next two games, and it would probably help if we win them in regulation just in case one of those teams has a chance of passing us. We're still in a good spot. We're probably in second, third place, but things just got a little bit tighter. 
that is, dude, that's a tough one, man. That's a heartbreaker. I feel like we were playing pretty good hockey, too. We finally got a goal on the board. We were passing it around well. Really, at the end of the day, I think the chemistry is a little bit off. We got Sherov joining the club. If we got together that dream team that we had in the last episode, we'd be golden. But right now, things are looking a little rough. Next episode, we will be finishing up the regular season and we will determine if we have made the playoffs. But in the meantime, let's take a look at our current league standings. We are currently in second place. Somehow the bandits have passed us even though we just beat the bandits in the first game, which doesn't make a ton of sense. However, like I said, I think if we go 2-0 in our final episode, we will 100% secure that first place spot. It just got a little bit tougher. On the opposite side, we have the Bulldogs, who are most likely going to be playing in that championship game. But uh, all things not looking too bad. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Pee Wee to Pro. These games are getting very, very close. After the last episode, I thought we were just going to run away with every single game. But today, every game within one goal, we had some close games, some nail biters, and we end up with a one and one record. If you guys are enjoying the Pee Wee to Pro series, I'm having a ton of fun with this. So let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, hit that like button and hit subscribe. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time and peace.